Hello there. Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening to you from wherever you're watching from. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Okay, so I'm um, going to be showing you in this video how to display Bible show in uh, Vmix. Different ways to display Bible show using lower third picture in picture or using the green screen to make the uh, background invisible. I mean, the only text visible. I'm going to show you in this video. So stay tuned. Don't forget, my name is Joseph Lassacone, and this is Extensible. Let me show you how to make this a lower third. Okay. So in your Bible show, if you don't have more teams, you can go to bibleshow.net and download more teams because it seems we have a lower third team also. Let me just scroll down a little bit. Okay. There are a lot of teams I downloaded. Um, it should be down. Yes, this is the way. We have lower third teams here. Let me use something like this. Okay. No. So this is lower third teams. And once you go over here, you can see it like this. If I'm just going to make it number one, yeah, we don't. So in the first of preaching, you have your Bible under here and the rest like that. Easy as that. We have that as one example. Another one you can do is um, if you have something like a pure color, like this color green. I used to use this color green also. So I want to make it like a green screen so that it can go away and bring it. I want to show you how to do it. Uh, if you have been knowing editing of all this movie stuff, they use green screen whereby they remove the green and only the text will be there. That's what I want to do here. But this green is different from this green. So I want to make it the same green. So go to the configure over here. In your background, this is the color. This is the color. So this color, I want to make it green in a way. Okay, you know what? Let's copy this green. So this color of border over here, make it very green. This is it over here, yes. So you copy this color code Ctrl C to copy. Copy this color code. We come to this color here and we paste in the color code. So this is it here. This is the green. So let's press OK. We have a particular kind of green. Huh? So now this text, this Psalm 1 verse 1 is green. So if we remove this green, it's going to affect this Psalm 1 verse 1 since it's green. So I want to put in, go to the configure, put in the text. I want to remove the green from this. And change it to the outline but the outline is not really necessary because it's the outer layer of it so we don't need it no one is going to see it the shadow eh, no one is also going to see the shadow but okay let's change it in a way to blue okay so now we have changed the verse here, but we want to also edit this one so this one is not the verse but the reference so we go to reference then you can see that it is now here because of us it's over in this two we we'll go to reference so we want to change the color of the reference text excuse me Let's say change it to blue also. You can change it to any color though. Let's change it to blue. Okay, we have something like this. Then what else? I think the rest should be easy peasy like that. All right. So once you go here, yeah, we're done. This is a green, white, blue. Okay. So we go to our VMIX. We see it over here. Yeah. It might not be looking that good, but I want to understand. We go to the settings of it. Settings of the NDI Bible show. Then we go to the color key. The color key over here. Then we want to pick a color and select this green. The way to select it is going to be somehow rubbish. But I want to click this auto chroma key preset, preset 2. And see that it's pure like that. So once you cancel it, you can make this number 1. It's going to affect the whole screen. But no, we want to also do something there, which is going to the positions and the settings. But now make it smaller and bring it down over here. Like this, you can make it a little bit bigger. Then bring it down over here. I'm not dragging it so it will still be in the middle. You get, I don't want it to leave the middle. I might not know the middle. So make it the middle, down. So once you press your number one, which I've assigned to it, I send it over here, this and that. You can do this one also. This is another way. And we have another way to display your Bible show in it. Okay. So my graphic designer did something for us in the church over here. This is it over here. So let me just um minimize this so i can drag and drop where is it okay so i drag and drop it yes so we have something like this in for one of our programs we did in church so this is where you put in the uh pastor preaching that is meal for example and this is where you put the bible text okay so let me just change this bible text so that it's no longer be going and i'll remove the color key i did to show you another way to do it okay so press I can save this one as green screen though, so you can easily 
going on screen by rule six. So you can easily just bring it back to whenever you see it. So we're going to use this one. Yes. All right. So this over here now, let's just reset everything. Reset all the color key also of the color key. All right. So we have this as the person. We have this one to work on both of them, right? So I want to go to the settings of this one. Go to the settings, put it in the positions. So the layer and multi view, right? That layer and multi view we are going to make this Bible show. The book make this Bible. No, let's make number two Bible show. Let's make number one the pastor preaching. Yes, so for better understanding. So this one, this one, we have me singing and we have the pastor preaching, right? Okay. So for now, we want to work on me. Let's off this one. Go to your positions. Go to not the main one right now, but it's me. Because the main one will reduce everything. Reset. So I want to work on me. This is the HP camera. So if I do anything here, yeah, it's going to only affect this camera. So let's crop it a little bit to remain in the middle, right? So we crop this. I will crop this. So now you can bring me over here. You see, uh, it's kind of already working little by little. Let's say down. Okay, so let me use this my cursor over here. So this is going to be a little bit of work, but we can do it. All right, something like this. Then we go like this. Yes, we're also going to crop it a little bit. Crop these parts and crop these parts. Then crop it down. Well, right. then we're going to go to the multi view layer, which we off this one. I'm going to on it back. So once we on it back, we'll go to the positions again to position the Bible show, which is over here, the Bible show. So this one also, let's do something on the Bible show. Bring it over here. Zoom it in. And just work on it very well. You know, this Bible show is, uh, the thing I'm using is the border is not straight, but it's bent. So it's going to give us a little bit issue. But I just like this thing in a way. I don't know why I like this thing. So I want to be cropping the Bible show also in a way. All right, sorry, someone called me on my phone, so I had to pick it. All right, so this is the way we're going to just go there, put it in this border. Something like this. I think it's too much, so it is the zone a little bit. Yes, bring it down. Here. Here. Okay, so we crop this. Which? That way is good. Then I bring this away. Yes, then I crop the left part. Was because this thing is not as good that way. Okay, let me change the thing. I think that will work. I need to something that is bordered streets. Okay, let me use this. So in this over here, we're gonna go not cropping anymore. Not cropping anymore. Let's also reduce the zoom a little bit. So uh, if you want to do something like this, please make sure your graphic designer uh, got the square stuff correctly. That's just it. You should get the square box correctly because this over here is not 10 it's a square with another angle. So just make sure it got it right. So this is our tangle. We have space at the right and left. So it's not it's a little bit shaky, but something like this. Then we can have merge. So it's just bring me over here and have your text over here. And this is how you bring the Bible show to your Vimix. All right, so if this video has been very useful to you, please don't hesitate to like this video so this algorithm can suggest to everyone searching for how to bring in your Bible show using NDI to your Vimix. Share to loved ones, to family, to friends, comment, whatever problem you are going through. I'm going to help you and possibly I'll do a video to help other people also. You can message me on WhatsApp, you can message me on Instagram, both discussions, uh, both link right there in my description on this YouTube video. Thank you very much for watching. My name is Joseph Olasokon and this is Extensive Love.